it's the heels. <laughs> um, so, me and Shaylee are Drake's older sisters. If those who already know or who don't know, we decided to share some stories about our baby brother. We had to pick him though because Where he's, to start? <laughs> he's a very, those who do know him, he has a lot of sick humor jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, I got to experience all the, a lot of his first in trouble things. I would always let him watch movies, like scary movies that my mom would always say no to. I took him to his first full contact haunted house and he was always so scared because he was like, I don't want to have a panic attack. But I took him in and I'm like, you're, you're going to be fine. They're going to separate us, but you're going to be fine. And he ended up telling me that was the best night of his life. He gave us the biggest, second biggest, sca second biggest scare of our lives. Hundredth biggest scare. In okay. Life. We went sledding when we had a snow day. And he went down a big hill with a big jump. It's a big jump. <laughs> and for a couple minutes, we didn't see him come back up. We couldn't see him come up or come wobbling back up the hill. So we were nervous, so I sent Dakota. I sent Dakota down to go check on him. And Drake thought it'd be so funny to pretend he got knocked out. So Dakota picked him up and he was limp. So he threw him <laughs> over his shoulder. And we ran, me and Shaylee are tumbling down the hill, turning into snowballs, just trying to get to him. And then we heard him start to cackle and laugh. And Dakota threw him on the ground. And he was so, he thought he was so funny. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he loved family time. He was always begging me and Shaylee to let him have a movie night with us. And he'll end up falling asleep on our floor. He loved board games but he was always so competitive especially over categories <laughs> and he'd always come up with words that just didn't make sense all the time or to those who knew him knew his awkward dance moves his awkward twerking <laughs> my mom would be at the furbo which is a little camera to say hi to our dogs and drake would be there and he would hear her say something and he'd walk up to the camera and just start twerking to her. Anytime you videotape him, he comes down and then he just starts twerking. Like, what do I do with this video now? <laughs> do I keep it? Do I delete it? He was such an innocent kid. He never swore. We'd had to, we tried, we tried. $20. $20. Not enough. He would never flip off anybody. He'd always <laughs> do this. <laughs> he was just all around a goofy kid. He didn't care. He wanted to make sure everybody was loved. He would always come into our room and he'd give me a hug or he'd kiss my arm. And he told me that he loved me. Even though I was the worst big sister ever for not letting him watch a certain movie that I won't say out loud. <laughs> it's a very inappropriate It's movie. a very inappropriate movie. And I didn't let him watch it and he was so mad at me for it. But you want to say some yeah, stories? Okay. <laughs> There's a lot. I had a really special bond with that boy. <laughs> From not even, I was the one that had the littlest conversations with him. Um, I taught him how to swim, actually. He was so scared of the water, but he wanted to love it so much. So we went down to Desert Peaks, and I taught him how to swim. I taught him how to go underwater without plugging his nose. I taught him to jump off the diving board, and he was so excited. He always told me that if he ever jumped off the diving board, I had to record it, because if not, then there was no proof that he could actually swim. <laughs> and I remember one time, just the last time I took him swimming, there was a really high dive. So tall. I'm afraid of heights. I can't do it. So I never did it, but he had the courage to climb it up the ladder, walk down to the edge, and jump off. And for watching him do that, I'm the one that screamed <laughs> because I was like, he can't swim! <laughs> but he did. He was, he did good. Uh, <laughs> another thing, there's a lot, like I said, he loved pranks. He loved to slap me on the butt. 
when I'm doing my makeup, or he'll like to go into corners, and if you're walking through, he'll scare you, and he did it, did it all the time, so every time he did it, I just wanted to run down the hall and just slap him across the face. I did, I did a couple times. What? Disappearing ink. <laughs> the disappearing ink. He had a purple ink, and he would spray you, and we'd always think it was ink he until would, it would disappear. He would spray people at grocery stores. He'd spray people in the backs of grocery stores. <laughs> and my mom's like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, we did a lot of escape rooms with him. And when we went to an escape room with serial killer one, and one of the clues was a doll. And those who don't know Drake, he can't stand dolls. Any doll he sees, he will either start crying or he'll run the other way. <laughs> he hates dolls. So one of the clues was a doll and there was a key inside the doll's head. <laughs> so he had to take the doll off the wall, look behind it, freaking out, because he did not want to touch this doll, and he sees the key, and he takes it, and he says, I did it! <laughs> I conquered my fears, and I grabbed the key out of this stupid doll. <laughs> and we looked at him, <laughs> and we were so confused, but we were so proud of him. Mother meds. <laughs> take your meds. <laughs> That's what he would always say, too. Every time an alarm would go off, he'd go, oops, time for mom's meds. <laughs> Glad to embarrass you. Um, <laughs> That's what he did best. That's what he did best. Another thing was what I would call boy talk with me and Drake. I'm a girly girl, but when I'm with him, I don't care anything about girly things. I don't care about makeup. I don't care about anything. I want to pull my hair up, put on sweatpants, and go play basketball with him. Every time I took him to basketball practice, he would always want to talk to me about the littlest things, about girls, about, about his bullies, about anything. He just wanted to talk to me. And so everything he told me, I, told, I, let, I kept that secret or I... I told him, I gave him advice. I was his big sister, and he was my pal. <laughs> I remember the last conversation I had with him. And it was about a girl in the Valentine's Day dance that was on Monday. It was on Monday. <laughs> um, and he told me that he could not find a date because he was so ugly. And I told, I stopped the car in the middle of the road. And I looked at him because there was no one there. It was late at night. And I looked at him and I said, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm a safe driver, I promise. Um, <laughs> I looked him in the eyes and I said, your baby blue eyes and those beautiful freckles that you forever have, you will get any girl in the world. <laughs> any girl you want, whether she's... Latina, whether she's tall and blonde, <laughs> and you're short and little, you will get every girl ever. And he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, and another thing is, uh, I'd like to talk to you about your car extended warranty. <laughs> that was his favorite thing. He would call me and Abby in the middle of school, and we were scared that he would something would go wrong. And so we would say, what's up, bud? What, what's going on? And <laughs> he would go, and then hang up. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? I don't even know what happened. We couldn't be mad at him. We couldn't be mad at him. It was so funny. And when he played Fortnite, like, don't get in the way of that kid. <laughs> he will say the weirdest things with his really bad, really funny, but really, really weird jokes. And he would just start talking to people on Fortnite. And then he would come up to me and he said, I won. And I was like, what'd you play? So he's like, Six. <laughs> it's not winning, buddy. It is with me. I'm like, okay, bud. But, oh, one more. Sorry. I got a lot of stories. But one more story is I took him to his first real haunted house. Not the one in Tooele, but his real it's haunted, real haunted house. Real haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm per, a one that everybody it. knows of. It's called Nightmare on 13th. A lot of people know A lot of people go to it. Um, I, me and, it was just me and him. And I remember when we first left, he was so scared. He called my mom a hundred times because my mom wasn't going to be there. And I got him his favorite drink in the whole world. I spoiled that kid. I got him candy. I got him chips, <laughs> talkies in that manner. I got him a slushie, and I got him a water. And probably another soda. I don't know. I got him a lot of stuff. 
Um, but I gave him my phone, and I told him to pick all his favorite songs. So on my phone, it has, it's this Drake's playlist. And it is all of his favorite songs. It was the songs playing, too. Um, he played, we played it through the car ride, and it was, it was a lot of fun. He cried first because he was scared, but after we got him to listen to his songs, he was screaming to the music, <laughs> and he was screaming to Baby by Justin Bieber because that he loves that song, but at the same time, he doesn't like that song. Um, and every time we would go through the haunted house, it was just me, him, and one of my old friends. And every he was in front of us, so every time we'd walk through and he'd see the actors, he'd go, ah! I'd like to talk to you about your car extended warranty. <laughs> or he'd go, ah, I like your shoes. <laughs> he, would just, he would just talk. He would talk to them because he wanted to be not even, even the ghosts that didn't exist, that were plastic, he would want to be their friend because he didn't want to be scared. And so he was so always so nervous to go through things, but we always made him go first too because I don't like haunted things. <laughs> But I made him go first, and he would talk to them. And I remember he actually made one of the actors break character. <laughs> he told one of the actors, I don't know what, I don't remember what he said, but he started flirting with her because he thought she was cute. She's like 30 years old. <laughs> but she was so cute because she looked like a really cute fish. And yeah, <laughs> it was so stupid. And... <laughs> She started breaking out, she broke out of character, and she had to actually walk away and leave the whole room blank just so she could cool off because she thought it was the funniest thing in the world. And I thought it was, I was so embarrassed. It was so stupid. Oops, I spilt water. And <laughs> that same day, there's a lot to that day, he, on our way home, I had to go on the freeway. And I had just gotten my license not even three weeks before, and we got lost. <laughs> we took a wrong turn, and we ended up making our way to, like, downtown Salt Lake, <laughs> which is, like, normally where the place is, but we had taken two right turns and a left turn and then another right turn and made our way back to where we were. So <laughs> Drake holds the GPS, and he says, where are you going? <laughs> Why are you going this way? And I said, that's what the GPS says. And he's like, no, it's not. The GPS said to turn left. You turned right twice. <laughs>